Good evening everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to do another review of a dash cam. This is a uh, company that's related to Magellan, so uh, they also have a dash cam company. It's called Mio or Mio. This is the MyView 798. This is a 2.5K dash cam. You can buy this with the option of just the front dash cam, or you can buy with the option of front and rear. This is the rear dash cam, the A50 that you can connect to it so you can buy it either way buy it as a kit with both of them uh, this is the kit with both of them this one has GPS built in of course and uh, the 2.5k the rear camera is 1080p we're going to go over a few of the specs and see what it says here on the box then we will open it up and see what's inside the box so on the box it does say up to 2.5K, so I'm assuming uh, you could set it at 1080p also, which the 2.5K is 1600p, so you get a lot more pixels. It's not a 4K, but in most situations you don't actually need a 4K. Also has the, the Sony uh, Starvis sensor, which a lot of cameras have. Uh, this also does have a large uh, aperture, so with the large aperture on this thing, the f1.8 this thing is it lets in a lot more light so usually you'll get a light clearer picture especially at night you can set it on parking mode it does have that option which a lot of cameras do it does have the wi-fi so you can connect to the wi-fi app and view your videos change your settings and download the videos through the wi-fi app of course it does have built-in gps it does have the gps speed warning it says it supports dual lens synchronized recording which is basically saying if you use the front and rear so it's synchronized front and rear recording at the same time you're not only going to capture what's in front of your vehicle you're also going to capture what's going on out back in case somebody rear ends you which a single front camera wouldn't do you much good if somebody hits you from behind so with a dual camera this one and then they add on a 50 you'd be good to go and set up for a dual camera system. So let's get these things unboxed. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut the plastic off both boxes. Get that started. Then open the front cam first. So first thing I pull out here, this is the uh, accessory outlet adapter and it is a mini USB not a micro USB like most of them and then here we have the off the suction cup style mount which is nice um, a lot of them come with the type that stick on with the suction cup it makes it easy for you to take the mount off and move it from one vehicle to another one good thing, it does come with a, a, a micro SD card that it uses. Now, this is only a 16 uh, gigabyte, not actually a very big one, so you would definitely want to upgrade that and get a bigger SD card. Open the camera here. Now, the SD card it is a 16 gigabyte here, but it does support up to 128 gigabyte, and I would advise getting a bigger SD card for uh, a lot more storage. So this is the camera, the front camera. Of course, we got protection over the lens, protection over the screen, and then obviously our mount will slide onto here. Just a notch on the back here, on the back here, and then slides right onto this notch right here. Locks tightly into position. So then the suction cup will go onto the windshield. And the last thing we have in here is our uh, MyView 798 instruction manual quick start guide so we'll go ahead and take this uh, micro SD card and put it in here the location for it is on the bottom so insert it on the bottom should just push in and click and lock into place go ahead and peel this screen off so we can see what we're doing here it's a few little pieces to peel off here the one that's on the camera lens itself up here too. Now the power cable for it, uh, like I said, is a uh, mini USB. It's not the micro S USB. 
and it actually just plugs right into the top. You can see the spot right here for it. It does have a right angle plug to keep it more low profile. Then we run this up, plug it into the accessory outlet. Alright, now we have the rear cam to open up here. And the reason the box was so big was because it has a massive amount of cable. This is the cable for the rear cam. And it is a micro USB. But you do need a long cable if you're going from your camera and depending on the length of the vehicle from your front windshield all the way down around under your trim and all the way to the back glass in your vehicle you need a lot of cables so that's why there's so much supplied. And we have another quick start guide for the rear camera. So the rear camera, I'll unpackage it here. The rear camera mounts and it pivots too because you want to mount it to your back window so it will actually pivot and make it to where you can set it where it's level where you want it and then it has a micro USB slot on it to plug your cable into. So if you were to buy the front camera only you would get the power cable plugs in with a mini USB. If you buy the rear camera option you get this splitter cable and you have the mini USB that plugs in here and then you have a, a mini USB here to plug your lighter plug style into and you also will plug in your rear camera cable and then plug in your rear camera with the micro USB here. So basically that's your setup. Your lighter plug, your front camera, your splitter cable and then your rear camera. So we need to plug this in, turn it on and check it out. Welcome. See the welcome screen. And there's our view. There's our view from our front camera. It says the duals connected. Okay, it shows we're already recording. If you see right here in this corner here, this is the rear facing camera up here in this corner and I'm sure there's a way to switch it. Usually there's a way to switch it uh, to where you get just one on there. You can swap the big screen to little screen front and rear however you like it. Okay right here on the side of the camera we have the menu button, selection button and we have an up and down button. Um, when we get to go to the menu if we push the top button here it brings up our menu and we go with the up and down buttons to go through the different menus, camera, Wi-Fi, turn off the sound recording if you wanted to record audio or not, all different kinds of settings. There's parking mode, video recording. Let's we'll click on click on that one, see what it is. You can select the length of the clip, which I always like mine uh, long clips. So we're going to put this one on five minutes. Click OK. And with a 16 gig card, it wouldn't take as many clips as it would with a 128, so you would definitely be good to get a 128. We'll go down to this video resolution, click this. We're already on the 1600p, 25 frames per second. Go back out. So if we go to the, there's the G sensor setting, the stamps, you can put the speed stamp, text stamp, whatever stamps you want on the screen down to format the card so we go down get on format we want to click the select button uh, are you sure you want to do it yes we do so we select it again and we'll format the card now it's formatted so we'll go back out it shows we got dual cameras hooked up and we're actually ready to record it's actually already recording right now so what we want to do is uh, take this thing hook it up try it on day and night and see what the video looks like GPS is not fixed. Well, that's because I'm inside a metal building and it won't have no GPS right here. This here swaps the screen. So you can see our rear camera is here now and our front cam went up to here. So you can swap the view. Now we're back the other way. 
and you can see it says menu here uh, this is for our GPS settings here so it looks like it has a big display on here for the miles per hour which I like that shows the speed um, let's take this thing put it in the vehicle and get it stuck on the window test it out see how good it does okay one other thing about this it does have a power button over here so you can actually turn this off if you wanted to hold down on the power button and it goes off push down the power button comes back on or when you push to plug it back in uh, your lighter plug it would come back on too all right guys so i do have it mounted it is recording we're ready to go see what daytime video looks like then we're going to see what the nighttime video looks like so pretty easy just to use a suction cup to stick it up clamp it on you can take it off move it around if it's not in the right spot i do like that part partially sunny and partially overcast so hopefully the video turns out good with this this type of weather and then after this one i will show the nighttime video so we should be able to see some license plates and see how good it looks on the license plate And maybe a little bit out the rear camera now the front camera here is 2.5k the rear is 1080p 